Good morning, Peninsula High School. My name is Brianna Kirkhart. Our top stories today, Winterfest, Poetry Contest, and Veterans Day Assembly, weather and sports with PC and Olivia, all this and so much more coming up on Peninsula News. showcase your talents. Join our exciting Veterans Day Art and Poetry Contest with a poem or a piece of artwork to honor the U.S. veterans. The top three submissions will win prizes. Submit your creations by November 9th to Ms. Domenu in room 515 or Ms. Miranda's room in 512. Any questions, just message Ms. Domenu. We look forward to seeing all of the talent PHS has to offer. PHS Big ASB Fundraiser of the Year is Thanksgiving weekend. We need lots of student volunteers to make this run successfully, and we are counting on you Seahawks to make that happen. If you are interested in volunteering for Winterfest, just look in your Schoology Class of 2020 info page for volunteer sign-up. Any questions, just ask Ms. Domenio or Mr. Miranda or Mr. Bruce. Volunteer hours will be handed out afterwards. Veteran State Assembly, get out your patriotic gear on Wednesday, November 8th, will be a spirit day for Veterans Day. Seniors wear camo, juniors wear red, sophomores wear white, and freshmen wear blue. We will have an amazing assembly during homeroom that day, so we can't wait to see you show off your school spirit to honor our veterans this Wednesday. And now, with your week sports, here's PC and Olivia. Thank you, Brianna. This week in PHS Sports. Your Peninsula Seahawks did not make the playoffs this year. We finished with a record of 4-5 to five to finish our 2023 season. We want to thank all players, coaches, and staff for a thrilling season. Boys Tennis finished their season 6-6, six and, six, and six people went to leagues this year, including Adam Mastery, Thomas Cardinal, Tyler Ahrens, Gabe Kim, Elliot Giss, and Alec Christian Dawson. We wish you luck, Seahawks. Boys Water Polo made it to state this year with a record of 13-1. They've been playing great this whole year, and I don't expect them to stop. Good luck, Seahawks. And now for a look at the girls' sports, I'm going to pass it off to Olivia Griffin with that exclusive look. Thank you, Brianna. This week in PHS Sports. Saturday was a big day for our Hawk Runners. Electra Higgins had a field day. She placed third in state. She had the fourth highest time out of all the girls' divisions. Her time was 40 seconds faster than last year, and she set a new school record by 54 seconds. Congratulations, Electra. The girls' team also placed 13th as a team. Girls' soccer postseason is well underway. They got ranked 8th in the state for the state tournament. They will play Shorecrest on Friday at 4 p.m. in Bellevue. Emma Kruger, Haley Schride, and Addie Seabrun all took home first team South Sound Conference. Ella Coates, Brooklyn Finch, and McKenna Getz all took home the second team all-conference honors. And finally, Amaya Rogers took home an honorable mention. Congratulations, Seahawks, and keep up the great work. Join the wrestling team. Starts next Monday. That's wraps up this week's sports broadcast. I'm Olivia Griffin. Back to you, Brianna. I'm Lauren Crocker with this week's Performing Arts News. The first play of the year almost made is finally here. Opening night is tomorrow, no Thursday, November 9th, and shows will continue until the 18th. Student tickets are $10 online and 15 at the door. We hope to see you there. For more information about the world we live in, here is Hunter Hill. Hello everyone, I'm Hunter Hill and I'm back here with your world news. I feel the story should have been touched a while back, but I'm glad we have a chance to report it now. On October 7th, a terrorist group known as Hamas stormed Israeli. As they were wrapping up a seven-day Jewish music festival, killing more than 1,400 people on their first attack. Israeli officials say that at least 32 of those killed were Americans. Israelis' next move was to bomb the Gaza Strip, but they warned the citizens to evacuate, thus leaving 1.5 million residents displaced. And this fight has been going on since then, and there's been a lot of conflict outside of Israeli about who to side with. And that's it for your world news. Thank you, and back to you. That wraps it up for this week's broadcast. My name is Brianna Kirkhart. I've been joined by PC, Ava, Olivia, and Isabella. Behind the scenes, thanks to our broadcast director, Andrew Kabinko, Gwen Bean, Mr. Mick, Noah Jones, student leaders in school administration. And a big thanks to all of you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you here next week on.